Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, released in 1967, is a poignant portrayal of societal norms and prejudices challenged when a young interracial couple introduces their relationship to their parents. The film stars iconic Hollywood figures such as Sidney Poitier and Katharine Hepburn, delivering powerful performances that navigate the complexities of love amidst societal expectations. One might ponder over which classic Hollywood actor steals the show, but the enduring essence of this movie lies in its timeless reflection of societal challenges and the pursuit of love beyond racial boundaries. Its message about acceptance, love, and the clash of generational perspectives remains relevant, making it a lasting symbol of the film industry's ability to address pertinent social issues. What personal memories or cherished moments does this film evoke for you? Share your stories and reflections below. We'd love to hear them. Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, a 1967 film directed by Stanley Kramer, captured the societal tensions of interracial relationships in the 1960s. The plot revolves around Joanna Drayton, a white woman, and John Prentice, a black man, who decide to announce their engagement. The story unfolds as they face the complexities and prejudices surrounding their relationship. The film's iconic characters, including Joanna's liberal parents and John's parents, navigate their own biases and beliefs while grappling with the societal norms of the time. Through powerful dialogues and emotional confrontations, the movie delves into the clash of values, shedding light on the challenges of acceptance and love across racial lines. Guess Who's Coming to Dinner was a pioneering film in addressing interracial relationships, marked by its bold narrative and impactful performances by Sidney Poitier, Katherine Hepburn, and Spencer Tracy. The movie's candid exploration of social issues made it a significant cultural milestone, sparking conversations and challenging prevailing attitudes towards race and love. Its thought-provoking themes continue to resonate, making it a timeless classic that remains relevant in today's discussions on diversity and equality. The making of the film was marked by unique challenges. Spencer Tracy's declining health led to the use of two shooting scripts. Katherine Hepburn managed Tracy's schedule, and Sidney Poitier, despite his accolades, felt daunted working with the legendary pair. A subtle yet significant reference to Alabama's governor reflected the prevailing societal norms during filming. At that time, interracial marriage was illegal in multiple states, a stark reality that shifted with the landmark Loving v. Virginia case. This pivotal ruling coincided closely with Spencer Tracy's passing, underscoring the film's themes of societal transformation and the struggle for acceptance in relationships across racial lines. The movie's narrative echoed the evolving legal landscape, emphasizing the fundamental right to marry regardless of race, encapsulating a poignant societal shift in the backdrop of its storyline. Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn, legendary actors, starred together for the last time in a poignant film, Exploring Enduring Love. During a heartfelt soliloquy by Tracy, Hepburn, visibly moved, sheds genuine tears, aware of Tracy's failing health. Interestingly, the small bust of Tracy seen in the film was actually made by Hepburn herself, a subtle yet touching detail. Hepburn's on-screen daughter, played by Katherine Houghton, acknowledges this, saying, Mom did it. These personal connections added layers of emotion to the film's powerful narrative, portraying the depth of their relationship beyond the screen. Katherine Hepburn, a key figure in the film, never saw its final cut due to the painful memories associated with Spencer Tracy. Despite their legendary on-screen chemistry, the emotional weight was too much for her to bear. Interestingly, veteran stuntman John Hudkins played a pivotal role, appearing as the disapproving cab driver and doubling for Tracy in the crucial car crash scene. This behind-the-scenes contribution added a layer of authenticity to the movie's dynamics. Additionally, Katherine Houghton, in her feature film debut, contributed to the ensemble cast, marking a significant start to her cinematic journey within this impactful narrative. This influential film, released during a pivotal period in American history, held a mirror to societal attitudes and sparked crucial conversations. Notably, a line referencing Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was cut after his assassination, showcasing the film's contemporary relevance. Additionally, a poignant moment in the movie aligned with a significant legal shift in interracial marriage rights, coinciding with Spencer Tracy's passing. Moreover, the movie's unprecedented success across the U.S., including in southern states, challenged assumptions about audience reception of films centered on African-American themes, altering marketing strategies for future releases. 
These factors underscored the film's impact on societal perceptions and its role in reshaping cinematic narratives. Catherine Hepburn's intricate connection to the film guest whose coming to dinner extends beyond her acting prowess. Her sculpting talent unveiled through a three-inch bronze portrayal of Spencer Tracy became a noteworthy legacy. The sculpture, crafted by Hepburn, emerged as a surprising treasure, auctioned for a staggering $316,000, defying modest estimations. This relic from her estate auction in 2004 resonated as an unexpected high point. Another notable debut tied to the film was Isabel Sanford's, later celebrated for her role in The Jeffersons. Her emergence and guests whose coming to dinner marked the genesis of a significant career. Meanwhile, Derville Martin, who portrayed Frankie, notably appeared in unaired pilots of All in the Family as Lionel Jefferson, adding an intriguing layer to the film's cast connections. Moreover, Katherine Hepburn's cinematic achievements stand unparalleled, clinching four Academy Awards for leading roles, a feat unmatched by any other movie star. Her accolades, spanning from Morning Glory to On Golden Pond, underscore her remarkable talent and enduring legacy within the cinematic realm. Stanley Kramer, the producer and director, took a bold step, putting his salary in escrow to ease the studio's concerns about casting Spencer Tracy, who faced health issues. Tracy's final scene, shot over a week, marked a poignant and it also marked his last ever scene captured on film. A standing ovation from the crew followed, and just 17 days later, Tracy passed away. Adding the personal touch, Katherine Hepburn's on-screen daughter was portrayed by her real-life niece, Katherine Houghton. These behind-the-scenes details add depth to the movie's production, showcasing both the dedication of the filmmakers and the intertwining of familial connections within the narrative. As the credits roll on this cinematic gem that sparked conversations and challenged norms, I invite you to journey through your own reflections on the narrative woven within guests who's coming to dinner. Maybe it's the poignant dialogues, the heartfelt performances, or the societal revelations that struck a chord with you. Share your musings, those moments etched in your mind, as this movie often stirs the depths of our perspectives and emotions. Perhaps it's the thematic relevance that resonates with your experiences or the characters whose struggles echo familiar tunes in the symphony of life. Your insights could unveil new dimensions or reaffirm the timeless relevance of this narrative. Your thoughts carry a unique weight, enriching the collective discourse around this masterpiece. So, whether it's a cherished memory or a newfound appreciation, I encourage you to share your perspective. Your voice adds hues to the canvas of this cinematic journey. Thank you for investing your time and interest in contemplating the echoes of guests who's coming to dinner. Your contribution enriches the tapestry of shared experiences and perspectives.